will you have a part in recruiting at East Carolina? Uh, I hope so. Uh, you know, <laughs> Uh, you know, as I know uh, right now, it's it's uh, it's going to be a unique opportunity for me. I'll be able to get back into the Richmond area, uh, get back into the 757 area, which uh, I have very good ties in those areas. But uh, it's, it's just like I said, I mean, it's uh, everything fit, uh, you know, for me to be able to do this. It was an opportunity that we felt like we couldn't turn down. And uh, I'm a Virginia guy. Um, you know, it makes sense for me to be in a situation to be able to, to do things in the areas that uh, I'm from and, and areas that I'm familiar with. I was thinking that that played a part in it as well, because when you was at Richmond and at Virginia State and Norfolk State, that was, you know, the 804 and the 757 seem to be your hubs as far as recruiting. And there are some 804 kids that are at East Carolina, a couple of kids from Matoka, uh, a gentleman from uh, Dinwiddie, Rick DeBrayu. Uh, from Thomas Dale. So it seems like East Carolina is now putting their footprint in the 804 and the 757 to bring some kids down to Greenville as well. Yeah, uh, I think it was a perfect fit for me. And I'm not sure how much we can talk about recruiting. So we yeah. got to be careful with that. But, uh, you know, going to East Carolina, uh, you know, was a was a glove fit uh, for me and my family. And in terms of all the things that we thought that Coach Houston and I and the rest of the staff could do together. It just made perfect sense for us to to get together and, and collaborate. Can you talk about what your role will be at East Carolina? Right. So uh, I'm going down in my title. I'll be the uh, the passing game coordinator, uh, and I'll coach the inside receivers and tight ends. Uh, there's a very dynamic staff at East Carolina, and uh, you know, believe me, I'm not going in there trying to do anything other than contribute to these guys winning games. Uh, I'm thankful to be a part of it. Uh, they've got a they've got an established offensive coordinator, and uh, my job will be to, to to go in and try to help these guys in recruiting uh, and on the offense try to win football games. I think it's a program that's on the rise, and um, I'm just looking forward to being a part. And in a way, this is kind of like going back to your roots because when you were an assistant at other schools in FBS, you work with wide receivers, you work with tight ends. I'm assuming passing game coordinator at a couple of them as well, a couple of other other schools. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it just gives me the opportunity to go in and help. Um, I, I've been an assistant before, and I think probably in a 22 year career, I've been an assistant longer than I've been a head coach. And uh, I've been an assistant um, at, at several key places. You know, one thing that was very beneficial to me uh, coming from being the head coach at Richmond and going back to being an assistant for Coach Matthews at James Madison, it gives you a chance to step back, take a break, refresh yourself. And, uh, you know, I got an email from the operations director at uh, East Carolina, and it only had 12 guys' names on the list versus uh, 100. And uh, <laughs> I'm extremely excited about having that opportunity. And, and uh, Coach Houston does a tremendous job with the, with the masses, and it will just give me an opportunity to be the head coach in my particular room. What will you miss the most about being gone from Norfolk State? And maybe what will you miss about being a head coach? Because you're going back to being an assistant and a, and a coordinator. The, the thing I miss about Norfolk State the most is, is our team, our program. Uh, you know, we've, we've, we've built a program, and I think there's a difference between a program and a team. Uh, and, and when, you know, you walk into a room of, of guys that you know you love and guys that trust you and trust your family, it's very difficult to walk away from them. Uh, you know, they're... There were some tough conversations that were had and, and our guys are, are grown men and they've been raised to be able to speak their minds. And some of those guys spoke their mind in our meeting the other morning, but um, they understand that uh, it's a situation that's best for us. Um, you know, and in terms of being a head coach, I think a head coach, if you're a good head coach, uh, you're kind of the head assistant, you know, versus mm -hmm. being a head coach. I think uh, it, it just gives you the ability to, to, to make the final decision, but, uh, I'm all for it, and I'm looking forward to to going back and and, and taking it, you know, taking a back seat and getting the opportunity to learn and, and help develop guys from a different level. But the players are what you miss the most, and uh, you know, Norfolk State's a great community. And, and as I said, leading into this thing, it wasn't a Norfolk State negative; it was just an, an East Carolina positive that that gave us the uh, that helped us make the, the decision to leave.